Hey everyone, today I am reviewing the TaylorMade Tor Response Stripe Ball. Is this the revolutionary alignment that's going to change the game of golf? Let's talk about it. Okay guys, I'm Brady with Golf Ascending. Tyson's at the camera and we do create weekly golf content. So if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Click that button below and the notification bell because we do create weekly golf content. And like I said today, reviewing the Tour Response Stripe Ball from TaylorMade. Now, Tour Response Ball, nothing new. If you already play this ball or like this ball, um, it's pretty nice, but they do have this alignment now that's supposed to be revolutionary. This is a three-piece ball. Um, so similar to other um, premium balls, it's not like the four or five, like the TP5 is a five layer, but it is a pretty nice ball, it's soft. Um, I've played the Titleist NXT Tours and I feel like they're pretty similar. It's a good overall ball, but that's not what we're talking about today. What we want to talk about is this revolutionary change, is uh, the alignment. Many of you probably know about Callaway's um, The Three Stripes, which is the triple track. They have the triple track ball, which honestly, that was huge. When that came out, everyone was talking about it because there was more to it as well as just the three lines. It was also the colors, how that helped with the eyes when you look over the ball. There was, you know, it was a really cool new product that uh, we didn't really see on the market. Now this one, I would say is fairly similar, but obviously you can see the differences. It goes all the way around the ball. It kind of reminds me of the Cerex and Divide. If you haven't seen that, we did do a review video on the Cerex and Divide, and I actually really do like that ball and how it goes all the way around. This one, I feel like it's a step further than just the Cerex and Divide because you don't only just have the one line down the middle like this has, but you have the thicker line, which I think helps with that um, quick alignment, especially when you're having putts from far away. You can just set it down and kind of look at the, the larger line, which kind of helps line the ball up. Same with triple track. I think triple track, because it's the three lines, it's pretty helpful in quick alignment. This as well, but again, this goes all the way around, which I think there's a little advantage there. Um, some people, when they play with balls like these, especially triple track, you've seen probably in other review videos that people don't like uh, having a a big line or almost a distracting line on their ball because maybe when they're at the tee box or when they're just taking their approach shot, second shot or chipping, you have this line and it could be faced slightly a different way from where you're actually aiming or your target, which can mentally get in your head, right? Um, from my opinion, I know that's something that bothers Tyson with balls that have the alignment like this, but to be honest, as I've been playing around with this ball, that didn't bother me at all. There's not one point where I was looking down, I'm like, oh gosh, it's slightly turned. So to me, with this design and how it's set up, the look, it didn't bother me at all. Now, did it help with putting? I honestly think yes. Similar to the Strix and Divide, um, I like having the line all the way around. And I know a lot of tour players like to do the line all the way around the ball. But again, similar to the triple track, it's thicker. And so you have a little bit more to help, I think, with alignment, um, as well as the different color. So as I practiced a lot with this ball and I did a lot of putting, it was easy to line up, it helped, I felt like it was straight. And the other cool thing about alignment like this is when you miss hit it, you know when you miss hit it because it's not gonna go straight as it rolls. So overall, yes, I think this is a great system. I really like it. I think it's great for putting, lining up. Is it worth switching up your ball? I don't know. It is a nice ball. It is a premium ball. It's about 40 bucks per, per dozen, so a little cheaper than your Pro V1s or even your TP5s. But is it worth changing up the ball? Up to you, because some people are totally fine with just doing the Sharpie all the way around the ball. But again, this adds that little bit extra. So if putting is where you're struggling, or lining up, I should say specifically, is where you're struggling, then having a ball like this, or a Chrome Soft, or even a Divide, or other balls similar to this, I think can be super helpful in your game because putting, that's where you're gonna gain a lot of strokes, if, especially if you're not even lining it up correctly. So does it help? Yes, I think it does help. Um, so hopefully this helps. If you are thinking of checking out the Tour Response Stripe Ball from TaylorMade, um, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe and let us know in the comments what you think, if you played with these or with other balls or alignment tools that has helped your putting game. And we'll see you next time.